Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 32. Now over the course of the next few weeks we're going to be taking a look at Autograph's unique 3D engine which is really really fantastic. But before we get stuck into things like 3D transformations and vectors and planes and all that kind of stuff, I thought it would be useful just spending a little bit of time looking at how we can set up our 3D page and the kind of options we get. So first let's go 3D, so I've just cracked open Autograph in standard mode and to go get to your 3D page you need to hover up the top here and there it is, new 3D graph page. Now it defaults to be black, which is I think quite a nice look, but if you want to change the colour of it, then you've got these options here, a medium background or a white background, but I'm going to stick black, I like the look of that. Um, now one thing I should say is that as a general rule, when I'm in 2D, if I can at all avoid it, I keep in standard mode, but when I'm in 3D, I like to go for advanced because it gives me a whole load of new options. So let's change to advanced mode straight away. So I'm going to go up to view, I'm going to go up to preferences, I'm going to go general, and I'm going to go advanced level and click OK. And you'll see now that you get loads more stuff to play with up there. Um, as usual, I don't like the look of this key at the bottom, so right click, get rid of show key, and there we go. Um, now, first thing to say is to move around your 3D page, as I'm doing here, if you just hold down your left uh, mouse button and just kind of drag around, you can turn things around like that, which is quite nice. Uh, you can do a similar thing with the drag function with the hand, just pull yourself around the page. If you ever start to get in a bit of a mess like I have there and you want to get back to where you were before, if you just hover over to this button, it's really useful, XYZ orientation, and that puts you straight back down to earth like that. Okay, right, um, let's have a play with some of these buttons here. This is quite a useful one, um, which get show grid. So if you give a click to that, then you get a bit of a 3D grid, which may be useful for transformations that we'll do in a couple of weeks' time. Or if you click it, it disappears. Now you'll notice that there's a little box drawn around my 3D page here. Now sometimes that's dead, dead useful to have um, if you want to do things kind of in, in, in an enclosed space. Sorry, um, But if you want to get rid of that box, then not a problem. Just give that a little click and it disappears there and with it the axes, but let's sort that out. Right, so, got my box back, let's have a look at changing some of these axes around. So I'm just going to go up here to edit axis, give that a little click. Now obviously you can change all your scales just as you would do before, and you can change all your labels, but this is the more interesting one, this options. So what I'm going to do here, is if I wanted to get rid of the axes quickly, I could click none, but that's obvious. But this is quite a nice one. If I get rid of that always outside thing, and I give that a bit of a click, then I get my axes looking the more conventional way along the... Sorry, I get my scales looking in the more conventional way along the axes. I'm going to get rid of the bounding box now, and there I get my normal kind of set of 3D axes, which is quite nice. And again, if I want to restore it, I just click there. Um, now, as I say, we're going to look at reflections and all that kind of stuff, but I thought it might be nice just to pop a little shape and just have a play around, and I'll show you some of the other stuff you can do. So, if you want to enter a shape, just hover up here to enter shape, and your choices are you can pop in all your coordinates, and it will build the shape up just as it would do normally um, in 2D. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the presets, so I'll give this a little click. And the preset I'm going to use is, let's go for, oh, dodecahedron, that sounds exciting. So give that a click, and it gives you all the dead complicated axes. So if you want to tweak some of those, sorry, dead complicated corners, I can't get my words out today. Uh, it gives you all the corners, and you can tweak those if you like. Um, you can also choose to fill the shape or not, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, whenever you're happy, click OK. And there you go, you get your dodecahedron looking very nice. Now, to move that shape around, it works just the same as it would in 2D. To move the whole shape, if you just give it a click, near the center and then just drag it you're absolutely flying there uh, to move individual uh, vertices around if you just click them and drag them you'll be absolutely fine like that and the other thing I wanted to show you is just in case you want to zoom in now you can do it using your zoom in buttons but what I really like is holding down control on the keyboard give that a little click so hold down control and then if you click with your left mouth left mouse button and kind of drag towards the screen it zooms out and pull away from the screen and it zooms in, which is really useful. As I say, there's absolutely loads we can do in 3D. This is just a little teaser to get you going, um, and we will talk more about this next week. Hope all's well. See you soon. Bye-bye.